I wanted to talk today a little bit about bags and backpacks and what I use and what I like. Uh, here we have a little selection of various backpacks. This is a uh, very small camel bag. Carries the water and has a couple little pouches here. I'll show you in a little bit how this one fits very nicely on the DR as a tank bag, actually. Then we have the little bit bigger camel back, uh, backpack. Like I said, same thing, carries the water. Very multi-purpose bag, holds all your stuff. This one I actually mount up on my tank as a tank bag. And I have a couple carabiners here on the crash bars to hold it in place and uh, works pretty well actually. It's a nice little modification that I've made, I guess, if you will. If everything's mod, that's mod. Uh, we have the Ortlieb waterproof bag. And uh, this is a German company, Ortlieb. They make uh, a lot of bicycle gear. They also make some motorcycle gear. So the rollover top with a Velcro closure. Holds a lot of stuff. Has a nice vented back here so you don't sweat too much on your back. A couple of straps and a waist, uh, waist clip so you can wrap it around your waist and really secure the bag. Pretty easy to wear. Uh, doesn't uh, catch too much wind. Really holds a lot of stuff. I can't say that again. I use this bag primarily uh, when I travel to carry my tent and sleeping bag. It'll actually all fit in there really well. And, all of my sleeping gear. It's waterproof so it keeps my tent and sleeping bag nice and dry. Uh, this typically will get mounted right back on here like this. I use the waist strap to strap it around the luggage rack, tuck up the straps underneath, tie down across the top and this makes a nice backrest when you're riding for a long period of time, especially with the cruising pegs. You can really kick back on that and, and cruise down the highway. That's made by Ortley. Uh, we have probably the most typical courier bag that you'll see, which is the uh, Timbuktu courier bag. Uh, this one's sold around the world and is probably the most common item you're going to find. There's many variations of this, many companies, uh, Zo, Colcut, uh, Pack, that also make very nice bags. Uh, these are pretty basic and simple. Uh, some of the other companies have some much better designs with some clips here for taking it on and off easier. Uh, this bag goes over the shoulder and I want to talk about one of my biggest pet peeves that I see with this bag. So you'll see a lot of people wearing them like this. And when they wear them like this and they throw them around the back, they're kind of hanging all loosey-goosey back there. But more importantly, the if you're carrying a lot of weight in it, the shoulder strap really digs in. So one of the keys to actually using this bag is to get all of your heavy items uh, down low by the strap section and actually pull it as tight as you can so you're almost wearing it, it's wrapped around your body. And when you pull it up, instead of having the strap sitting on your shoulder, you actually have this nice soft part of the bag. So you're actually wearing the bag almost over your shoulder like that. And that's actually a lot more comfortable and you'll find the veteran couriers. Uh, all wearing the bags way up high like this. Uh, so just tuck the strap back in. I've actually just made a little end on there, cut it off and made an end, but it loops back on the uh, regular ones. I didn't like the loop because I was afraid it would get caught on something, but uh, that sits real nice on your back, no problems. And not really going anywhere. They do have uh, some extra straps that can cross over from here to here and, and make a nice little harness for it to keep it in place. Don't really need to use that if you wear it up high and tight. And so now I'll show you on the DR how I put the bag, uh, put the bag on the tank. So on the DR650, like a lot of other dual sport motorcycles, the uh, tank is actually pretty good for just strapping on your camelback or backpack or what have you. Uh, just run the straps right around the front end. There's really nothing there to interfere with it. And as long as you keep them up nice and snug on both sides, it'll stay out of the way of the engine so you won't melt the straps from the heat. So you can hold all your water supply right here. You can have your hose ready when you need it. And it's also a nice 
nice place to put your keys and some other stuff when when you need to have that your camera whatever you like to put up there uh, on the back here I actually have a uh, I think this was a Swedish army backpack something I picked up at a surplus store it's, it's made of rubber had a couple little attachments here that I, I just used zip ties to strap down but if you wanted to you could actually run the nylon strapping through there and put clips or whatever you like but typically I can hold in here a spare tube, the tool kit, my compressor and uh, a quart of oil pretty well so it's kind of a nice all-purpose uh, bag to use so I hope that helped you out and I hope you enjoy your rides as much as I do. Uh, any uh, questions, comments, please feel free to post them on my YouTube channel. I'll be happy to help you and uh, get back to you on anything. Thanks.